Hey, hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to my channel and welcome back everyone. All right, you guys, let's get started with your reading. If you wanna get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Um, just click that link that will take you to my booking site. And uh, please remember, keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some of the messages may or may not resonate, but I upload every day. So maybe something will resonate for you when you listen. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what are Virgo's love messages. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's take a look. Okay, Virgo, there you are. Look, showing up in your reading right away. Queen of Pentacles, or you are connecting with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles, all right, we've got the Nine of Wands, oh, look, the Fool's back again, Aquarian energy, and of course the Devil, always the Devil, Capricorn energy, the Tower, Scorpio, let's take a look, oh, the Hierophant, Taurus, and the King of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck. Got the Page of Wands. So definitely a message coming in for you. And I feel like yesterday some of you had a phone call perhaps coming in for you. But this is someone who's very smitten with you or has a little thing for you or a crush. <laughs> and it's just, it feels like really wants to talk to you. Wow. Okay, big change coming. The world. This person... I feel like whatever they were going through, whatever struggles they've been dealing with, like they're coming to the end of that, some type of, something that they were connect, having to handle, right? A heavy load. It feels like there was a heavy load on this person's shoulders. Something that they were, uh, maybe they've been working a lot. Could be physical labor. Somebody could be with, you know, this person. Physical labor. Okay, they've dropped all these wands. They have one left here, and it feels like this is a very passionate card, if you know what I mean. Um, coming home from a long, hard day of work, so to speak, and then you know, wanting to have a little fun time with you. Okay, there could be travel, there might be communication about travel from somebody here. The world is like this is ended here whatever they were going through whatever they were doing whatever the struggle the burden they were carrying it's come to an end and now ready to start this a new cycle up with you okay or just be free to it feels like you know have a new chapter this person kind of feels like walking away from something they're walking away from a person uh something mm, Something also, responsibilities with a child, um, maybe had to take them to college or, you know, something to do with it, something to do with a child. Okay, let's take a look and see. You're definitely getting a message though, Virgo. I know some of you may be receiving a phone call and others, it could be pages that are usually something written, so it could be a text message, somebody um, reaching out to you and uh saying something to you like they're finished with what they were doing um they want to come travel to see you or they want to start something new here like i feel clean slate okay a clean slate all right let's take a look at the love messages flirt yep extend your lighthearted energy to others so the page of wands definitely flirtatious type of communication Oh, engagement. Okay, something starting here. You know, the world card, it is a ring. So for some of you, and the Wheel of Fortune here, it could be um, a proposal for engagement. Okay, <laughs> releasing your ex. This person, for some of you, they've, they've let go. Something or someone that they were still kind of involved with or talking to, I feel like... That's kind of over with. I just want to put this down a little so you can see it. I feel like that is kind of over with. If they were involved with someone else or something that they had going on in a relationship or a marriage or whichever, that's done. It's They're like, nope, I'm done with it. They have a thing for you. Okay. 
they have a thing for you. All right, so there you are, Virgo, sitting pretty, sitting handsome, okay? Uh, yep, it, it just feels to me like, Virgo, you've been kind of waiting to get the ball rolling in your life, your love life, and... Um, Let's take a look. I just want to see what this Queen of Pentacles is. The Queen of Pentacles is very stable, financially stable, secure. You know, uh, she's reliable. He or she, reliable, someone you can count on. Um, let's see. Okay, the Moon card. Mm. That is Piscean energy. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so immediately, they just said to me, your person is kind of looking at you, male or female, and they see that you're a bit apprehensive and hesitant, and you're kind of like not showing too much of yourself. Maybe you're just, maybe you're not active on uh, YouTube or social media or anywhere else, like, or just some of you might be just hiding out in your house, just on the couch watching Virgo's Netflix series here <laughs> every day and just really en engrossed in that. But I feel like they kind of sense that you are just, I don't know, are you blocking or just pushing back? Like you have some really strong boundaries up and I feel like this person is sensing that and they're kind of curious. You're not revealing too much, not revealing how you feel not rever revealing what you want. Some of you just kind of, maybe you knew that this person was connecting with someone else and you just pulled away. You didn't, you know, really make a big fuss about anything. You just said, mm, okay. Usually Virgos are kind of like that. You know, they're just, they want the truth. And then, but if they sense, if they get the truth and or if they sense something's going on, um, they just pull back. They don't really like, it t Virgo, I, I feel like you try to save your energy for picking your battles. And I feel like you're, this person senses that your battle is not to be aggressive, but to be um, more defensive, where you're just like, okay, nope, can't come in. <laughs> um, I feel like this person, they're going to take a gamble here. They're really going to come in and start flirting and tell you that some their intentions here is that they're finished with whatever that was going on with an ex or whatever they were they were the person they were talking to it doesn't have to be an ex but like somebody else in the picture and want to move forward with you they've been thinking about it here seven of pentacles contemplating i feel like there's definitely going to be communication from them telling you about their plans and ideas and what they want to get started with you okay <laughs> some of you might even get you know let's run away let's just run away let's go somewhere for the weekend or a week or something let's just kind of disappear and let's just sneak away okay um all right, so the Nine of Wands is here. And this again, let's see. Okay, so this definitely has to do with someone that they have been in a toxic relationship with. It's been so bad that this person, I feel like actually became toxic themselves, right? So it's kind of like, I feel like your person was involved with a male or female narcissist of some sort you know the devil was like down in georgia the devil was all over that plate all over wherever and this person kind of had to shut their mouth or stifle themselves in order not to give their ex too much information um or to not to say anything about their plans or what they were doing because this person's very you know, their ex is very, um, it doesn't have to be their ex. It could be like a family member or someone who's just all up in their business. And this person is very toxic to your person, causes a lot of problems is how I feel. And I feel like, kind of like a ripple effect. You know, like you, 
you had some type of connection with this person not really sure what it was and you felt that they were toxic but they were toxic because of you know that shit bleeds it's like a virus <laughs> that's why it's really important that if you you know it spreads like a disease you know if you, if you meet someone you know it always starts somewhere and if you meet someone and you're involved with someone and they're real ill or like mentally ill or there's stuff going on, usually that comes from either parents or it could come from like a really long toxic abusive relationship. It takes a long time to heal, of course. And I feel like this is kind of like he or she wants your person and your person wants you. But your person was affected by whomever they were with and you were affected by your person do you understand and i feel like your person is finally releasing this per this person from their life i just saw the eight of wands but they're guarded yeah they're very guarded with this person okay seven of cups because they feel like like they don't want to commit to that to their ex they don't want to be with their ex They're, this person is trying to get free and they don't care what the consequences are they're running away from this devil here look the devil card on the fool what did i just say your person is taking with them residual of an abusive relationship or you know it could it did may not like if it may not have been physical for some it could have been it may have also just been emotional abuse or mental abuse and your person is seeing this now with whom they were with and how it was affecting them i feel like they met you and they realized how the choices that they made and the decisions that they made and the relationships, the people they were choosing, um, taking a look at why. You know, I feel like they, they uh, something here is telling me, I don't know if this person met themselves in the mirror with somebody else or really got took a look at themselves and saw like, wow, this is what I was doing to Virgo, what my ex was doing to me. Let's take a look at this devil here. The hermit. Wow. Yeah. See, it's to me, it's it's subtle abuse. This the person they were involved with might have been a covert narcissist. You know, that's subterfuge. Sub, subterfuge. That's like um, codependency. That's hidden manipulation and hidden abuse. That's putting guilt on another person. Um, passive aggressive behavior. Whomever they were with. Okay. All to, I feel, if they knew about you, um, they were doing things on purpose to your ex. They might have been saying things if they knew about you, to your ex about you, but kind of like turning it around and making it seem like it was all you, Virgo, who was causing the problems. Really bad energy. <clears throat> okay, the hanged man with the tower. Yeah. Guess what? This person is having a major wake-up call in regards to who they were with. If you walked away from this person because they were messing around um, and, they, and they wound up going with another person, boy, did they get their karma. They totally got their karma because if your person thought that you were bad, phew, the one that they were, it really was like a wake-up call for them. They have a brand new perspective. I mean, like their ego got smacked, right? Look at that tower moment. Look at that. Blowing the crown chakra right off. Spirit came down. Jesus must have came down and had a moment with your person and was like, wake up. Guess what? And that hangman, Piscean energy, 100%. Like, oh my gosh, I'm seeing things totally different now. Okay. King of Cups energy. So you could be connecting this actually... Cancer Scorpio Pisces um, and the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups in, are, is here. So Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Okay, definitely. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups, not of the same suit, but it is two court cards. So there is some kind of a match here. So the Hierophant is here. There is 100% a commitment, a marriage. This person is like falling in, in line with you. Okay, doing things the right way. The Hierophant, you know, that always represents like traditional 
relationship, traditional marriage, having morals, you know, again, when I said Jesus came down, sometimes that's like, that's the Pope. I don't know what's going on. This person might be having like some kind of awakening to spiritual principles or, you know, coming away from some type of addiction or addictive behavior. I feel like this person is going to propose or tell you that they want to get engaged, you know, um, like really secure your relationship now. There's a death card again. Yeah, this person is ready. New beginnings. They're leaving that. They put death to this past relationship, whatever they were. This nastiness. I just feel it was nasty, nasty male or female they were connecting with. Some This person was an extreme liar, abusive, very narcissistic, uh, manipulative, disloyal, um, really like caused a lot of anxiety but all of the stuff that they did or that they do in general not just to your person but to others it's all undercover it's all covert and and that's that's the worst kind of narcissist it's one thing if if you're dealing with someone who's outright obviously abusive or a nurse you know those types of like narcissistic type people like you know someone who just hits you over the head with a bat I mean it's pretty obvious that that person's not well but people who do it behind your back and are sneaky with their um, narcissistic behavior it's so it's so covert that those people get you to apologize for the abuse or the way they abuse you I mean, and that's what your person was dealing with. That had a tremendous effect on that on your person, and that had a tremendous effect on you. That's insidious. Though that takes years and years. I mean, that's so damaging. I don't know if you guys know anything about that type of narcissist, the covert. I'm sure some of you do. Um, as a matter of fact, if you watch on the news, a perfect ex a perfect example. I'm not trying to get into like. <laughs> news themes here but hey Virgo drama in your readings the Chris Watts murders Christopher Watts was a covert narcissist these are the people pleasers these are the these are the types of people who can't say no they say yes they say yes they do everything they do everything and then they complain and th that they're not appreciated because they're codependent and they do it on purpose like you know what i mean they, they give to get and if they don't get the appreciation then the hostility the passive aggressiveness builds up and builds up and builds up and sometimes it leaks out where they'll do backhanded compliments or they'll say something like um that dress looks good on you um uh, that dress, that colored dress would look good on you. Like it's a backhanded compliment. How can I say it? Let me let me try to figure out like an example. That wasn't going well. I I can't think of anything right now. But a backhanded compliment is where they compliment you, but then they insult you at the same time. And you know that happens because then you're like, wait a minute, did you just insult me? <laughs> and then you start feeling like you question yourself, and then you say that to the person, and the person's like, why are you so sensitive? And then you feel bad don't feel bad you got insulted like you have to wake up and see so that's what that type of energy is okay i went way too deep in the example here i mean it's a soul killer and if you're not if you're not aware of that it'll destroy your self-esteem and i feel like your person um that's who they were dealing with a type of person like that but those people they hold it in hold it in hold it in and then they explode um another example is the um gabby and brian thing that's going on right now okay in the news he's another example of that they come off real sweet real nice real um giving and you know very serving type of person but then they stab you in the back when you're not looking and then they blame it on you right <laughs> We're going way too deep into this, but hey, it's your drama. I like those crime shows, so I see a lot of that. And um, 
I watch those because it's crazy. And I, I feel like the person that right you were they were connecting with was doing this to them, and they're finally leaving them. Finally, like they're getting away. Okay. Yep. King of Cups. Looking for a, just getting into a rested peace of mind state. Okay. Um, this person retreating totally from releasing that ex whoever they were connecting with like they've gone silent on this person and that person they were connecting with i mean it was so bad that your person had to kind of go into hermit mode and like go off the face of the earth or disappear go off the radar so that that crazy stalker ex would leave them alone would would leave them alone and anyone they were connected to it's it's really bad it's it's really bad like this person had to just completely do a gray rock with that oh hold on you look at me dropping cards look look at all the look at all the gray rock here like do a gray rock with this person like say nothing not give them any information not feed them any information i want to pull another card for the hermit yeah, they okay, so they could have been connecting with um, another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, doesn't have to be. The Queen of Cups in the upright, very sweet, like I said, male or female. This person was very sweet, very kind, uh, came across as, you know, um, came across as very giving and nurturing. That's kind of the appeal, all right? That's how that your person came across, but they were in the in the dark, really with the abuse, and it was hidden, hidden abuse. Nobody could see it, and a lot of people um, thought your person was crazy or overreacting. And I'm listen. If you were dealing with someone. I'm not sticking up for your person if they did that to you. I'm not condoning that behavior. It's just an awareness and the messages is what I'm trying to bring here. You know, um, obviously, if you were uh, on the receiving end of your person's abuse and because of what they went through, this could have been from a mother or a parent's deep effect. You know, the Oedipus complex shows up sometimes, whatever it might be. Um, you obviously have to like get your healing in regards to that and you know get your a lot of you I feel like you are you're you, you've got your boundaries up which is awesome and you're not giving too much information at this time either uh, some of you are not trying to be affected by your person's people or other person is how I feel as well but i'm telling you virgo talk about a wake-up call and i feel like this person is ready like they're like oh man i really screwed up i really screwed up they they may have lied to you about things and all because you know i mean i i don't usually say this in my readings but i kind of feel bad for your person and I feel bad for you as well. Like in a sense, like my heart goes out to, to both of you because I feel like there's like deeply affected by whatever was going on. I know my readings can get really deep here, but the drama is like really high in this reading. Really, really high. And um, this just message is coming through. Obviously, you know, like I say in my readings all the time, when something comes out, it, I never tell anybody what to do. I just do not want that responsibility. But I, I will, like, I, I don't mind giving the guidance. And I feel like these are your guided messages right now. What you choose to do with this, you know, you have free will. And I'll never give a reading that says, oh, you know, you must go back with this person. I mean, I've heard readers do that. And I'm just like... You need to shut your face <laughs> or click off that video, you guys, because that's not even right. I Listen, there's not many readers that do that, but I've heard a few do that. Um, all right. Anyway, let's take a look and see what the love messages are here from your person and for you, because I see this person coming in and just kind of like saying, 
I made a big, big mistake or I, I really didn't understand what was going on and I really do love you and you were so good for me and I just was so taken by this person. They, it, it just, I'm just seeing, well, I just heard the, the words. They just gave me the black widow. I just heard black widow, like a black widow. What does that mean? Black Widow. Black Widow. Or like, it's just giving me a vision of a praying mantis. <laughs> if your if your person's with pers if your person's ex was a female, you know what does a praying mantis do? She like she has sex with the males and then abuses them. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like your person just met met their mirror match because either, you know, it, either it was karmic and they realized that, you know, maybe things weren't working out with you guys and they thought they would try to have their cake and eat it too and boom, you know. Okay, love messages here. This is for you. Lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. Support this person. I lied to you. All right. They were lying to themselves. But... Virgo, this relation is moving toward a sacred union or marriage of some sort, okay? They're definitely afraid to contact you. I feel like there's shame. I feel like this person has a lot of shame. You know, they do have feelings for you, but they have a lot of shame that they got taken for a ride by somebody else, um, you know, especially if they were cheating or or if this is just someone that they were with before or they were trying to get away from while they were connecting with you. I just feel like this person just was so mentally disturbed and very confused by this person. All right, Virgo, you got to go slow. <laughs> I mean, I don't see them. So I don't really see them coming in like with an actual proposal right or just getting down on bended knee or sitting down and saying let's get married tomorrow or let's do it but i do feel like they want to talk to you about this this might have been something that you guys were planning in the past and then it didn't work out or there was cheating or manipulation or an ex came back or something and they they left you and went back to see if it could work and then boom they came to realize like they met their match came to realize this person's very abusive and they want to try to talk to you and try to make something work here again with you okay this is you you're definitely waiting for an apology from this person okay friendship is leading to more some of you decided to just be friends or just said that <laughs> even though it was hurtful for you to agree to that or to have to say that to this person um and some of you just kind of were like all right well I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Nothing serious because you you know or you knew that something was going on with an ex. Um, but it feels like this is catching on fire again. So many things remind me of you, Virgo. Okay. And second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Now I want to point something out. And I think I said this in my reading yesterday. This card doesn't say this relationship deserves a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 10, 20, 80 chance, second chance, okay? If you're on chance number three, four, or five, then it's probably time to let it go because at that point, your person has not woken up. Second chance means if you guys went through something before and now it's coming back around again, you know, because when she made these cards, she didn't put third, fourth, or fifth chance. She just went to second. Okay? This isn't baseball, and it's not three strikes, you're out. Because when it comes to love and betrayal and things like that, two chances. That's enough. Because there's always like, you know, okay, the first chance, okay, I get it. We've learned lessons. Now we're going on to the second one, and this time we get it right. Okay? Okay? Third time isn't always a charm. Not when it comes to betrayal or cheating and abuse and stuff like that, okay? So I feel like your person wants to give it another try. And of course, Virgo, you're going to have to like figure out what you're going to do. Wow. You know, I have a card sitting here. I don't know if you 
saw me playing with it. It's just sitting here all by itself, and I wanted to see what it was. And it's the Hierophant commitment relationship. Getting married, okay, doing it the right way by God, by spirit, in the houses of the holy, doing it right, okay? Having this union, this sacred union, blessed. That's what sacred is, okay? Um, all right, let's get your advice here. And then I think I'm going to skip the singles today. And the reason why is because um, I want to just give a, a break and a breather for the singles readings for a few days before I come back because there's a lot of singles uh, readings that I've put out, okay? So I want to give you guys a chance to let that energy, you know, kind of just play out a little bit. But I will be doing the Twin Flame reading soon for October, so keep your eye out for that, okay? All right, let's take a look, Virgo. What is your advice here? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo's advice. Okay. Oh, King of Cups is back, Virgo. Oh, my goodness. All right, listen. I know some of you might not be connecting with a water sign they might have water in the chart but it doesn't matter this person so whatever sign whatever king or queen shows up that basically means that this person is coming in in this energy okay the love the heart the emotional energy this person so whoever your person is but we do have the king of cups here twice is coming in as being trustworthy honorable devoted and cautious someone you can completely trust now a situation that becomes safe they show up safe a solid romantic relationship they have hidden but well-intentioned emotions okay the king of cups does not male or female does not wear their emotions on their sleeve they kind of are very thoughtful, um, but they hide their emotions a lot. Um, this could be that your person wants is or wants to or agrees, if you put that on the table, to um, seek counseling together because of something that has happened. And listen, I say all the time, you don't have to be married to go to counseling together. You can be in a relationship. There's no like prerequisite to have a healthy relationship. And, you know, getting some skills or trying to heal the connection, not you going to counseling for them, but it's just to, to get some healing for the two of you. It doesn't have to be like a clinical counselor. It could be a spiritual mentor. It could be a pastor, a priest, a life coach. It could be anything like that. And I feel like your person, if you if they come back in and want to repair this and, and you say to them, okay, this time we're going to do it this way, I feel like they would be open to doing that. If they're not, um, try other avenues. But if this person is completely adverse uh, or they're not ready, then Virgo, you got to get your distance because they need to heal, okay? And, and you got to give them that space to heal. Okay, but I feel like for some of you, your advice would be, though, to maybe seek some type of counseling in what I said, you know, or even a, a good friend that's got a really good head on their shoulders and can give wise counsel to you. Like me. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. What else is Virgo's advice here? I just feel like, you know... Your love life here is ascending to a higher level of commitment and marriage is all over here and traditional relationship, can, like a good, 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 solid, blessed, sacred union coming in. Okay. Ooh, the Empress. Time to take action, Virgo. Okay. Beautiful. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. So, you know, Virgo, all right, for the males, this could be somebody that, you, this could be your person, okay, coming in as um, the empress, this person really leveling up and being everything that you wish. Um, you know, so when I say for the males, I just mean the divine feminine. It doesn't matter what the you know gender is. 
but I feel like, oh, okay, they just said, if, if your person, you guys, was having an issue with the mother, there is, the, the, your person gets some counseling in regard to the relationship with the mother or in regard to the relationship with the ex, if the mother of their children or the ex, okay? And also it is your person willing to get counseling and to nurture the self, okay? But also for you is to come in with that Empress energy, mostly for the Divine Feminine, okay, is to stay nurturing, stay warm and loving and beautiful and, you know, remember who you are. That's what I hear. Know your worth and remember who you are. Even if you go and get some counseling or, you know, some guidance, uh, just polishing yourself up a bit more is really nice. It's really good. Some of that... Um, some of that old brass that you have sitting there in your house needs a good shine. <laughs> you need a good, shiny, shiny, squeaky clean uh, cleanse. <laughs> what else? Oh, wow. Okay, this is totally your card, Virgo, the high priestess. Okay. Somebody's name is Mary. Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom that you receive. Wow. All right. I feel like this is just kind of... Um, you're healing in silence right now, Virgo. And it's very beautiful, okay? And I know this reading was kind of spe specific, and it may not resonate for all of you, and that's fine. You can listen to yesterday's reading or go back another day, because this is all going into the month of October is how I feel. Um, but I feel like, you know, there's a lot of things that you are trying to understand right now. Some of you might really be like reading your Bibles. <laughs> And I just love the Bible, so I'm always talking about the Bible. Um, but some of you are just kind of, oh, look at how she's holding an apple. It's kind of like getting healthy. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. You guys are really getting like mental health going on here. Intuitive spiritual health. And I feel like if you're doing that, keep doing that. Keep that going. There's definitely an angel watching over you right now. And if you've been having things kind of working out for you lately, I, I kind of feel like some of you are like making plans and then the plans aren't going through. And it is Mercury retrograde, so there's been a lot of stops and starts and false starts, but then things actually start moving again and turn out better than you expected. I don't know if you've been experiencing that. I certainly have. And if you haven't, expect that when there's like a false start or something that you were hoping for isn't going the way you wanted or there's like um, a snag, don't get impatient, don't lose your cool. That snag is there to propel you into something even better than you expected. There was a saying that I once heard, the further you pull the bow back on a bow and arrow, when you release it, the farther ahead you'll go, okay? So the greater the tension you feel, the further ahead you'll be propelled, right? So understand that the more, you know, understand that um, the more difficult it is, the farther you're going to go because the stronger you're going to get. I don't know. That's a strange message. All right, let's see. Wow, you have the infinity symbol. Okay. It comes around, goes around, Virgo. And for some of you, as I was saying before in this reading, your person, I think they might have gone back to a karmic or they re-engaged with a karmic and... Or they were they tried they were engaged to one or they proposed to a karmic and it didn't work out okay 
or you know they they just realized you know it, this person just realized this the person they were dealing with was like looks real great on the outside but inside decaying this person's had their person had a decaying soul you know like people who i just i just they're giving me this image of like <laughs> i don't know if you know what whoppers are those little chocolate malt balls sometimes they they are in the box and you pull a couple out and you look at it and it's like real shiny and looks delicious you bite into it and it's all rotted to the core on the inside <laughs> This game, like they're showing me that, like, yeah, like those whoppers, like those malt balls. <laughs> I don't know if you have them if you're outside of the U.S., but we have them here. Oh, it's the worst thing. It's, it's, it's awful. Are you biting to an apple and then there's like, it's all rotten on the inside. That's what I feel is going here. And that's, it's like a cancer that just spreads like a disease from person to person to person. And you were affected by something. That happened to somebody. Okay. Cool. So we have a dove with a shamrock. And that's definitely healing and peace. Absolutely. Um, possibly Ireland or a connection is very lucky. Okay. The dove brings, there's like a peace offering, I feel. And when I say lucky, like, or taking a gamble, you know, the, the wheel of fortune is here. Oh, I just heard, um, besides a vacuum cleaner going off, I just heard the Prince song, When Doves Cry. And I can't remember this, how the song goes. Is it, dream if you will, a picture of you and I engaged in a kiss. Sweat of your body covers me. Is that the song? Can you, my darling, can you picture this? Dream of you can love something. Oceans of violet and blue. Animals strike curious poses. They feel the heat, the heat. That's not the song, is it? That, but that's, just, that's the tune they're giving me. Is that when doves cry? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to listen to that song. And it's crazy too because there's a guitar here <laughs> and prince you know he was all about the guitar maybe somebody here's a prince lover still listens to his music god rest his soul um yeah that song very strong i don't know if i have the words right uh when, when doves cry dun, 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 dun. Is, it, is that the song? Somebody tell me if that's the song. Or, it, or am I singing a different song? And I can't remember. But if you guys know the, the lyrics to When Doves Cry, if that's not the right song, post it in the comments or in the chat here. I can't, um, I can't play the song because I have... Um, I have... Um, uh, get a copyright strike for playing copyright music. But maybe your person is a, is a musician or plays bass. I just heard somebody plays bass. Plays plays a bass instrument. Or maybe you do. Or a guitar of some sort. Or is in a cover band called Infinity. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> uh, I feel like I want to get another charm here. I got that stuck in my head. When doves cry. Okay, so we have a cac cacti, cactus flower. I just heard they say cactus flower. That's what's more important. It's not the cactus. It's the cactus flower. Um, now maybe there's like somebody who lives somewhere where there's cacti. I don't. I don't. Would that be? Uh, I don't know, is it Arizona, Nevada? Is there cacti in Texas? I don't know, where, where is, or anywhere else in the world? Is there, are there cacti anywhere else in the world? Besides those places in America, I don't know. But that seems to be, 
if if that if you rec if that if any of this resonates for you this is definitely a message for you i'm just going to do a couple of more charms here okay <gasps> i oh my goodness i was just thinking of this somebody in the chat i showed this you guys i pulled this the other day and somebody said texas longhorn i don't know what the heck that means but i just said texas so there's something going on here with texas or this is like um a fossilized skull somewhere in the desert interestingly enough too when i pulled this this is kind of like i feel like um I just heard panhandle. I don't know what that means, a panhandle. And I'm hearing, um, this is like gold, you know, when... Uh, you know when um, Japanese, they just said Japanese, gold, sifting for gold. gold golden nugget? Golden nugget. Casino? golden nugget <laughs> okay let's do a couple more you guys because stuff's getting strange here all right so we have okay a wrench somebody threw a wrench in the wheel okay and a little birdie um and i always feel like that's the twitter bird something to do keep your eye out if you're okay i know not all of you are on twitter I, I i log into twitter just to read the news um and the weather and stuff but i don't use it but um because i really don't understand it but i feel like if anyone here uses twitter um and i don't know if this is related to your somebody somebody said um the mechanic did it. I just heard tell them on Twitter, the mechanic did it. The mechanic caused the problem. Something to do with the mechanic. Okay, and we have an eagle. The mechanic, eagle, bald eagle. The car broke down. The car is being fixed. He or she is getting caught because their car breaks down. They get caught by the police. Their car breaks because their car broke down. Or they get pulled over by police and they have like, there's a, there's a wrench. And that's like the weapon. What the heck? What am I talking about? I just sometimes like my brain gets hijacked with these messages. And the eagle, what is the eagle? Tell me this eagle. Oh, this person's bald. Maybe they're bald. Bald eagle. The eagle snatches up the prey. I don't know what that means. Okay, I'm just going to pull one more and then I'm going to leave this weird ass reading here. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm leaving it here because this is just too much. It's too much with these charms and these messages. But anyway, yeah, that was fun. Um, all right, you guys, I'm going out to dinner. So um, actually, I'm recording this earlier. <laughs> so by the time I listen to this, I'm Oh, maybe I'll still be out. We'll see. Um, so you guys, I hope that was fun. Um, I, like I have to reset because I'm getting these, I just keep getting these images. There's so, so this feels like there's some kind of crime. I don't know if it's connected to you or it's just something on Twitter, I feel. And I know, okay, some of you are like, I don't even use Twitter. Okay, well, maybe it's not for you or go on it. I don't know. It's going to be connected to you somehow. Leave me a comment or let me know what the heck I'm talking about. Somebody, it's for one of you. And I'm not sure what, it, is there a car called an Eagle? Oh, um, a Jeep Eagle? Of 
caught somebody gets caught their jeep eagle breaks down and they get caught trying while they're trying to fix it and it's like all over twitter or somebody they're like it's in the news why am I shuffling? I'm out of here. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy that. Let me know if this resonates. I don't know what the heck's going on. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you very much. Bye, Virgo.